When you purchase the Celtic Cross Blanks from Ken'sIron.com, you'll get a larger back piece and a smaller piece that will sit on top. For this video, we will start with the larger back piece. Before you start, we suggest taking a square and drawing two perpendicular lines on a flat surface. Use this as your reference point so you can make sure that your cross stays straight while you work on it. Now, heat the larger piece up and use a butcher tool to fuller in a groove at each point where the ring meets the cross. For this design, take a ball peen hammer and use rapid light blows to give texture to the ring. Next, use a hot set or an edging chisel, like the one here, and fuller in a groove at the end of each arm of the cross. Now is a good time to make sure that the arms of your cross are still straight. Add any remaining texture that you'd like to the back piece and move on to the smaller front piece. Take a ball peen hammer and texture the front piece as desired. Do this for each arm of the cross.
Just like you did with the larger piece, make sure this piece is still straight. If you're happy with the way each piece looks, all that's left to do is put them together. You can rivet them together after drilling holes, or you can plug weld them together. For this cross, we put a small spacer between the pieces to give it more depth. There is no right or wrong way to do this. 